Hi, welcome back to Emmy React, where I'm watching Game of Thrones for the first time. Today we are on Season 6, Episode 10, the finale episode titled The Winds of Winter. I'm super intrigued to see how the season wraps up. There's some storylines that I feel like are probably going to come to a head with this episode, like the whole High Sparrow situation in King's Landing with Cersei and her trial. And is Marjorie still having a trial? No, I don't remember how that works with her whole bringing Tommen into the faith or whatever. Does she still have to go through with the trial now? But Laura still does, I think. And I'm super interested to see what the whole her giving her grandma the note with the flower, what that meant if Marjorie is in on some sort of plan with all this. So interested to see how all of that plays out because I know something's playing out there. Last episode we had the big battle of the bastards and my nemesis Ramsay finally met his end. And we're all so happy for it. And John and Sansa took back the north then I guess which is great. They have Winterfell. Poor Rickon was lost in the crossfire of Ramsay being crazy but we won't have to deal with Ramsay being crazy anymore. We we'll probably have to deal with other crazy people like Theon and Yara's uncle but they have they have Daenerys on their side now and she has dragons so hopefully that works in their favor for when he comes after them or is I know he's coming after them right now. So we have that all stuff to catch up on with them as well. Now that John and Sansa have the North, I think it's probably just them preparing for the White Walkers coming, which was like the point of it all along is wanting to get people together to help fight the White Walkers coming. So that's still a thing that we need to prepare for. That was a that was an intense battle episode last time when we lost some people we lost. Juan Juan was he the last giant? I'm still wondering about that because I'd be really sad. I liked seeing the giants and him stomp on people. Or I think he was lost. It seemed like, yeah, because he got Ramsey shot him in the eye. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Also, Arya is finally done with her no-name people. I'm looking forward to her getting back into the thick of things with everyone else. She's, she's just like kind of been off doing her own thing on her own for so long. I'm hoping that she gets back and meets up with some other people, maybe. I don't know if that'll happen in this episode, but interested to see where her storyline goes now that she's move, moving on from the no name people. The Hound's back now, which is still wild to me. And he met up with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? Is that what they're called? I feel like there's more words to that. The Brotherhood Brotherhood of, of Banners? Uh, either way, they're also, they also kind of came back as a thing that's, that are people. So Daenerys got Marine under control with her dragons and the Dothraki people. So that's great. So yeah, lots to catch up on. Like I said, I'm excited to see where the whole King's Landing thing plays out though um, with Cersei and and Marjorie and that whole plan, but excited for the finale. So let's just dive into the episode. I also forgot to mention that, well, I'm wondering if we're going to see anything about Bran being with his Uncle Benjen now slash his Uncle Benjen being like a half walker thing or being having been saved by the White Walkers. Or by the children, I guess, by being stabbed by the dragon glass. That was interesting last time. And we saw the Dorn ladies again. It's been a couple episodes since they stabbed their prince guy and took that, that back over. So are they going to come try to fight someone? The Lan I guess they're mad at the Lannisters for killing. For killing my dear sweet Oberon, which, like I said, I understand, but... Maybe they'd cause a disruption during the whole trial situation. That'd be kind of nice. I wouldn't mind if they killed the High Sparrow, just as long as someone does. Or at least, like, I don't necessarily need him dead, I guess, but, like, just out of power. Dead is fine, though. This show has made me so bloodthirsty <laughs> for people I don't like. Okay, yeah, they showed Dorn and the snake. Interesting. All right, season six finale. Wow, winter, winter really hasn't gotten south yet to King's Landing. Does it ever, like, actually get wintry down there? I know it's not the thing to focus on right now, but... It just looks so not wintry down there. Is the trial happening now? Ew. Oh, Tom, and I do really wonder what's going on in that head of yours, because I don't think you understand what's going on. Or, like, I don't know. Um, has Laura's been in here the whole time still? I can't, I can't believe Marjorie would turn on him like this. That's where, like, my, like, like, confusion apprehension is from of Marjorie, you know? Ugh, that makes me so sad. Is his, he going first or do they have it at the same time? I don't know, I'll just wait to watch. Okay. This music is dramatic. Your Grace, the trial will be getting underway soon. I thought he was like holding it up because he didn't want to do it. 
Yeah, you should be having some feelings about it, sir. Maybe this is why we shouldn't allow 14-year-olds to be king. I know he's not 14, but he just really looks like it. You got my money. Later. Go away. Did you really need to do that this morning? Also, pay her if you're going to make her do that. Grand Lester. Was this one of the little birds of information? I really can't read her. Are you prepared to stand trial and profess your guilt or innocence before the seven? There will be no need for a trial. What does that mean? Can I confess you... before the seven. Oh. And freely admit to my crimes. What is that? What happens to him if he does? I perjured myself before the gods. I am guilty of depravity. They won't like kill him for this, right? Profligacy. Profligacy. That's a fun word. I humble myself before the seven and accept whatever punishment the gods deem just. Is this what Marjorie the gods told him to do? Judgment is fierce, but also fair. Who kneel before her? Do the men not have to do a walk of atonement through the streets naked? Is that just women? I take full responsibility for my many sins, my only remaining wish. Well, I guess he wanted to confess in the first place, didn't is to he? devote my life to the seven. Just to make it stop, yeah. You understand fully what this means. I don't. We we'll become one of them. I will abandon the Tyrell name and all that goes with it. Oh. I will he renounce is. my lordship and my claims on Highgarden. The grandma did not want that. And I will never father children. He's the heir to Highgarden. How is that supposed to happen? Brother Loras, I ask you to dedicate your life to the seven That's gods. his punishment for this, is to have to be, to do that, all that? Don't, don't worry, Loras, they're not going to be in power forever. It's okay. <laughs> what was that look for? Don't kill him. Oh, they're going to brand him or whatever. They do it right here? And with a knife? Eesh. <gasps> Yeah, okay, Dad, stand up. Ooh, I'm impressed that his dad actually like got upset about it. Where's Lady Elena? Where, why isn't she doing anything? Did she really go home? Oh, was he waiting for his mom's trial? Oh, that's the mountain. What's he doing there? I'm made for the trial. What's he doing? Oh, poor you Laura. You mutilated him. You gave me your word. I've kept my word. Oh, okay, so she's angry about this? Once the Queen Mother's trial is concluded, Brother Loras is free to leave. And where is the Queen Mother? Her litter never left the Red Keep. Her litter never left the Red Keep? Go to the Red Keep and show her the way. So Marjorie, was she doing that for Loras? To be able to leave? Oh, another one of the little birds. Okay, so there's a there's a plan of brewing. Oh, I'm so sad that Loras had the thing on his weapon to him. What are they doing? I hope this is the situation. I hope that that Marjorie had some master plan this whole time. That seems more like her. And they put they're locking him up too. Ha ha ha. Bye bye. This music is cool during it. It's very Where's sinister. The are they is the mountain keeping? I swear anything. The, keeping Tom in some way. <laughs> Please forgive me if you can. I don't care about that. Don't. <laughs> Why does the kid have a knife on him? All these little kids have, or do they all have knives? What's happening? <laughs> Whatever your faults, you do not deserve to die alone in such a cold dark Is he gonna make the kids place. kill him? But sometimes before we can usher in the new. I was just thinking how I the old wouldn't be mad if be Mr. Rest. Pycelle died. Cause I don't care if anyone dies. <laughs> Why is he making the little kids kill him though? That seems mean. They're not doing anything to Tommen though, right? They're just like keeping him from being able to go to the- <laughs> He's making the kids do it! Oh jeez! <gasps> Whoa! Bye! Bye, sir! Oh, that girl never got her payment. That's not what I should be thinking about right now. Is this the end of Lancel? The longer you wait, the worse it'll be for you. Does he think that Cersei's down there? Does he really think that kid was leading him to her? <laughs> this is the end of him too, or at least he's hurt. All these kids are just little, like, stabby, stabby assassins. Why are they making the kids do this? <laughs> what are you doing? Stabbing you, man. Okay, now let's do the High Sparrow. Oh, poor Loras. I guess maybe she didn't know this plan if she was, if it was part of, like, he could leave once the, once Cersei had her trial. Do I see green glowing? Is that is this where the wildfire is kept? And he has other fire, so this doesn't seem safe. Yeah, it's wildfire just dripping there. There's something wrong. 
Sassy is not here. Tommen is not here. Yeah. Why do you think they are not here? We cannot escape the justice of the gods. Forget about the bloody gods and listen to what I'm telling you. Cersei understands the consequences of her absence, and she is absent anyway, which means she does not intend to suffer those consequences. Yeah, listen to her. The trial can wait. We all need to leave. Is he, like, underneath where they are? Where this wildfire is? Is the intent to, like, blow it all up? If so, yeah, Marjorie, get out of there! Is a candle burning? Is that what's happening? Is oh, that's why she didn't want Tommen to get there. Marjorie, get out! We all need to leave yes, now. yes. Listen to Marjorie. Holy shit. The ice High Sparrow can stay. Loris. And Loris needs to leave. Stay with me. Oh, good. Marjorie's so smart. Oh, 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 man! Oh, good. She got the other people out. But is he gonna keep his people there? <gasps> Let me yeah, let her let through! Me oh no! Are they really not gonna let her leave? Oh, it's getting so low! Oh, I'm so scared for Marjorie! N they're not letting anyone leave? Oh, I'm so scared for her! Oh, he's dead! Get her out, get her out! Oh! Woo! Legitimately so sad for Marjorie, but so happy about everything else. And there are so many people in there. <gasps> Seriously. <laughs> but hooray that the uh, High Sparrow and everyone is dead. Oh, I feel like Seriously could have gotten Marjorie out of there too, right? No, well, she wasn't there. Confess. Oh, <laughs> she kept her separate to torture her. Confess. Oh, I'm really sad about Marjorie. Confess. <laughs> she kept, she's just gonna torture her. <gasps> She said she would. She's just gonna waterboard her with wine. Confess, it felt good. Beating me, frightening me. She blew them all up with wildfire. Even Marjorie. You did it because it felt good. Woof. I understand. I fucked my brother because it feels good to feel him inside me. Ooh, we're just yelling at like that. I fucking my brother. I killed your eyes, Sparrow. Yes, you did. I'm really happy about that, but it's like... And all his little sparrows. Tainted because of Marjorie. All his filthy soldiers. Yeah. I'm glad that she killed everyone else, though. Because it felt good to watch them burn. Oh, their shock and their so pain. She knew that she had to get no out of there. No thought has ever given me greater joy. I said my face would be the last thing you saw before you died, you remember? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to meet the gods. What? Today? Oh, she's gonna draw it out and make her suffer. Like You're she did. I'm going to die today. Oh, I get it. Sir Gregor. What you gonna have him do? We're gonna see what his face looks like? Your gods have forsaken you. No. This is your god now. Whoa! Pur the light purple man. Shame. <laughs> Shame. What's he doing to her? <laughs> Woo! Seriously. I'm very sorry, Your Grace. Wow. Well, must Tom and be feeling right now? Does he know that Marjorie was there? back and get Marjorie out of there. It's okay, she had to go film the Hunger Games, so. Oh! Oh! <gasps> For House Lannister! Did he, For House real, did he just kill himself? Pray. May we stand together Hang on, everybody. Did he, I think I've seen that clip before. I didn't realize that that's what this was. May we speak the words of our alliance. He it was high up. And the Lannisters. Send their regards. He's making a Hunger Games joke and you just jump out a window! Tommen! Oh, we're back in this room too now? There's so many emotions happening. Ah, whoa, uh, I'm warm now. You don't even have to do anything, do you? <laughs> you just sit there, a rich slab of beef. You're welcome to it. Whoa, Tommen jumped out a window. This came together rather well. Oh, this guy needs to die now. This is an episode for dying, Your apparently. Your would be pleased. He needs to die. Sure he would be. Ed back in the cell. They're just gonna keep him locked up forever when they need to, uh, to use him? You're a great conqueror. Go on, mock me, boy. You think I mind? Here we are now. Two Kingslayers. We know what it's like to have them grovel to our faces and snigger behind our backs. We don't mind, do we? Fear. 
It's a marvelous thing. I think you're equal people. They don't fear the phrase, though. They fear the Lannisters. Yeah. If we have to ride north and take them back for you every time you lose them, why do we need you? That's a good point. I mean, not like that. What were we just looking at? Show me. So that, like, prediction from the witch from that one episode that all three of her children would die was right. What are your thoughts concerning the king's funeral? He should be with his grandfather, his brother, his sister. Wow. Wait, what does this mean? Who's him. next in line to be the king? Bury his ashes where the sept once stood. I thought she would be much more emotional than that. She was so emotional when Joffrey died and he was a little poor. Oh, poor Tom and it was too much for him. <gasps> hey guys. Hey baby Sam. Oh yeah, we haven't seen them in a couple episodes. We're going to the Citadel. So he was just bring Is this the best place to walk on the side of a Cliff into the ocean? That's a cool shot, though. <laughs> BB Sam is so cute. Look at this cute little family. So is he gonna try to just bring him with him? Like, I guess he did that at, the, at Castle Black. He can try it here. Hello. <laughs> oh, these people seem fun. According to our records, Gior Mormont is Lord Commander. That's your outdated information. He died. We received no report from the Maester at Castle Black. He's since passed away, which is why I'm here. This is irregular. So, I things happen. The life is yeah. irregular. <laughs> In the meantime, you are permitted to use the library. Where are they gonna go? No women or children. <laughs> Why is she holding him like that? <laughs> She's like dropping him. Put on, put him on your hip, girl. <laughs> it's the library of his dreams. Are they just gonna wait for him? Wow, well, the books are locked up. That's a pretty cool library. Look how happy he is. I love libraries. Whoa, it's huge. I've been getting emotional over it. Him getting emotional over the library is making me emotional over the library. <laughs> Hi, John. You did it. You got it back. Where are we now? When we have feasts. Oh, he's like at home. My family would sit up here and I'd sit down there. Could have been worse, Jon Snow. You had a family. You had feasts. It's a good perspective. Uh, you're right. Hey, Davos. Oh. oh, he's gonna confront her? Yes. Tell, yeah. Tell him. Yep. Tell him who it belonged to. And what you did. Yeah, I'm still pissed at her for that. The princess Shireen. Although did it allow Tell him what you did to her. Him to win, John to win? Is that truly what she now is going to say? Him! She was just wrong about who it was meant for. He burned her at the stake. <sighs> yeah. She's a messed up lady. Oh, that breaks my heart how sad he is about Why? it. Why? It made me cry. The army was strapped. The horses were dying. It was the only way. You burned a little girl alive. I only yes. do what my lord commands. If he commands you to burn children, your lord is Thank evil. Thank you. That's what I said. And thought and still thinks. Jon Snow is alive because the lord willed it. I loved that girl like she was my own. She was good. She was kind. And you killed her. Oh, Dav is crying over this. It's going to make me cry. It is making me so cry. So did her father. Ugh. And he allowed it. So did her mother. Her own blood knew it was the only way. Oh, Davos. They all died anyway. You told everyone Stannis was the one. You had him believe in it. All of them fooled. And you lied. I didn't lie. She was just... Mis I was wrong. Yeah. You were wrong. Ugh. I swear, I feel like I always cry in the finale episodes so or I something. I ask your leave to execute this woman for murder. She admits <laughs> to the crime. Oof. I've been ready to die for many years. Yeah, like hundreds of years. She's very old. If the Lord Guys. was done with me, so be it. But he's not. She you just bring you back to life. You know the great war is still to come. So the Night King has You know the army of the dead will be upon us world. soon. I feel like we should punish her, but not necessarily kill her. Because she has been proven useful with, you know, bringing him back to life. Ooh, but Davos was so sad. And I'm so sad about Shireen. Right south today. For what? If you return to the north, I'll have you hanged as a murderer. Okay, John. Yes. That's the energy I like. Whew. If you ever come Whoa. back this way, I will execute you myself. Yeah. You have that right to be that angry. Whoa. Is she gonna go meet up with, like, the other people, though? Lord of the Light people? There's a lot of them down south. Oh, Davos making me cry over Shireen again. I'm having the Lord's Chamber prepared for you. That's nice. Mother and father's ring. I'm not a Stark. You are to me. And me too. You're the Lady of Winterfell. You deserve it. We're standing here because of you. Yes, that is very true. The battle was lost until the Knights of the Vale rode in. Mm hmm They came because of you. Yeah, I'm glad he's acknowledging that for her. Should have told you about him, about the Knights of the Vale. I'm sorry. 
was she keeping that in like her back pocket as like her own army like Baelish kind of told her to we need to trust each other yeah we can't fight a war amongst ourselves we have so many enemies now seriously <laughs> my heart I need Arya to get back into the fold now John a raven came from the citadel a white raven is that what that was that was flying what does a white raven mean winter is here who decides that? What is a, who sends a white raven from... Huh? Winter is here. Well, yeah. Well, father always promised, didn't he? That is very much winter. The last time a Tyrell came to Dawn, he was assassinated. Prince, she went to Dorn? Oh, she you doesn't know your own prince. Her, ki her grandkids died. We invited you to Dorn because we needed your help. You came to Dorn because you needed our help. Oh, she's too late. You look like an angry little boy. Don't presume to tell me what <laughs> I need. The Lannisters have declared war on House Tyrell. They have declared war on Dorn. We must be allies now, if we wish to survive. Ha have the Lannisters declared war on House Tyrell? Cersei stole the future from me. She killed my son. She killed my grandson. Oh, so she does know. Oh, so she came she after that happened. Never mind. Okay. Ugh. Survival is not what I'm after now. Revenge? You're absolutely right. Good. Oh, so that's why they're teaming up. Vengeance. Justice. Yeah, now they do have a common, like, thing. Fire and blood. That's where Varys went. They're all hanging out in Dorne. Your ships are nearly ready. Ooh. She's finally gonna we sail to Westeros? The You're not coming with us. Why? There's finally peace in Marine. You there? will keep the peace while the people choose their own leaders. Fuck Marine. Yeah, that's not what he wants. Fuck the people. If I'm going to rule in Westeros, I'll need to make alliances. The best way to make alliances is with marriage. That's why she wants him behind, so he doesn't complicate things. I can't bring a lover yeah. to Westeros. A king wouldn't think twice about it. Yeah, but she's smarter than those kings who have mistresses. She knows better than that. I love you. Bring me with you. Let me fight for you. No. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. She's smarter than that man. Sorry. Yeah, he'll be all right. Specific orders will be left for you regarding the welfare of Marine and the Bay of Dragons. The Bay of Dragons? We can't call it Slaver's Bay anymore, can we? Cool, Bay of Dragons, nice. You'll get that throne you want so badly, I'm sure of it. Will we be able to go there at that point then, maybe? And visit her? I pity the lords of Westeros. They have no idea what's coming for them. Mm-hmm. Farewell, Darien Harris. This is like the last time I'll be seeing him? That's crazy. But yeah, I get it. She needs, she can't have that, can't have him hanging around anymore. I wonder how Jorah's doing, trying to fight the Grayscale and find a cure. How did he take it? It was? Tyrion's idea? How about the fact that this is actually happening? Yeah, I'm excited for it. Armies, you have your ships, We've been talking you about it for so long. It's all yours of the taking. Are you afraid? Do you know what frightens me? I said farewell to a man who loves me. A man I thought I cared for. And I felt nothing. Mm. So she's like a just impatient to get on with Afraid of like kind of who she's becoming with all this. I believe in you. I'd swear you're my sword, but I don't actually own a sword. I, I like it's this your council. pairing a lot. It's yours. As like now and always. Him giving Good. advice and everything like that. I had something made for you. A little pin. Is it a dragon? Tyrion Lannister. I name you Hand of the Queen. Oh, uh, that's fun and cool. That made me tear up. <laughs> okay, he's really good at that job. Yeah. Okay, let's go get to Westeros. <sighs> Is it his turn to die? You're not one of mine, are you? Where are my damn moron sons? Black Walder and Lothar promised to be here by Ooh, midday. Who is she? They were focusing They're on here, her my lord. a lot earlier. Well, what are they doing? Tell them to come here, now. They're already here, my lord. Is she someone sent to kill him? Here, my lord. Huh? They're... What? Huh? They weren't easy to call. What? <laughs> my name is Arya Stark. Oh my god! I want you to know that the last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. Holy shit! Yeah, Arya, get him! Yes! She killed his son and fed them to him. Walder Frey was on her revenge list. Yes, I. Well, it was his time to die, and by Arya, she's so cool. She did learn from the no-name people on how to be a person with a different face. It's 
So, did she- how did she get that face? Did she bring it with her? Did she kill some- that girl and put a, her face on? <laughs> yes! Nice! Ho, 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 ho! Is that why that she was Good staring morning. at Jamie so hard? Hmm. Yeah. Can't you be somewhere else? Hi, Arya. What do you want? What does Baelish want? What I wanted. Does he still want her? I was wrong. No, you aren't. Cause that's creepy. Don't kiss her Every again. Every time I'm faced with a decision, I close my eyes and see the same picture. Whenever I consider an action, I ask myself, will this action help to make this picture? Don't kiss her again. Reality. She doesn't want you, man. And I only act if the answer is yes. A picture of me. Oh. On the Iron Throne. I thought that that was what he was doing this whole time. That makes sense. And you by my side. There it is, though. There is. That's the that's the part that I didn't think is what he meant. Yeah. It's a pretty picture. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I've declared for House Stark for all to hear. Oh, so he's like really putting. You've declared for other houses before Lord Baelish. It's never stopped you from serving yourself. Yep. The past is gone for good. Is it? You, my love. Are the future of House Stark. My love. Who should the North rally behind? True born daughter of Ned and Catelyn Stark, born here at Winterfell, or a motherless bastard born in the South. So he's trying to like kind of turn her against John, I feel like. So yeah, we knew that Baelish was always out to serve Baelish and wanting to be on the throne himself, but I don't like how creepy he is about Sansa. This is where I leave you. You're not coming with us. Oh. The wall's not just ice and stone. Ancient spells were carved into his foundation. This fee looks so interesting. Strong magic. While it stands, the dead cannot pass. I cannot pass. Because is he technically considered dead? So he brought him back to the wall? How is Mira going to get him anywhere? Where will you go? The great war is coming. Oh, yeah, he is. still fight for the living. Doesn't kind of look like a White Walker, but... Oh, so he did. I can. Interesting. As long as I can. I didn't realize that the wall had magical powers. And, like, spells on it and stuff. To keep the White Walkers out. That makes sense, though. But did, was that ever told before? Probably. Where is he trying to go? Touch the tree? Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm the three-eyed raven now. Oh, he's embracing it. For what? What are we gonna do or see? Oh, we're gonna see the rest of this vision? It was his sister screaming, right? Oh, it really is picking up where he's left off before. I don't wanna know if I wanna see why she's screaming like that. Diana. What's going on? You. Did she have a baby? Oh, did she have a really baby? Is that why she was screaming? Why is she so bloody? I'm here. I've missed you, big mother. Did he just watch his sister die? I want to be brave. What? Who's that? I'm not. How did she get these injuries? Is there a mister? Listen to me, Ned. Can he? If Robert finds out, you kill You have to protect him. Robert finds out what? I say, is this actually John? Is, is John not actually Ned's? Is that what they're implying? Wait, I'm so confused. When, uh, uh, where we're at in time. Hi, baby. Is this a baby Jon Snow? Is this a baby Jon Snow? So John's actually his nephew? Wait! Is that implying that he's Robert's bastard? So he's invade. really to be an heir? But free folk, the northerners, and the knights of the Vale fought what? bravely, fought together, and we won. The war is over. Winter has come. If the maesters are right, it'll be the coldest one in a thousand years. Yikes. The war is not over. I promise you, friend. The true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. Yeah. The real issue is the White Walkers. I'm still reeling from the, the baby thing. Oh, I still have... Your like, son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Mandley. But you refused the call. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover. But in their hour of greatest need, you refused the call. Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refused the call. Mm-hmm. She didn't, though. Her house but didn't. House Mormont remembers. And she fought. The they north fought. Remembers. Yeah. We know no king, but the king in the north whose name is Stark. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. Kind of. He's my king from this day until his last day. Yeah. Is she gonna be the one to rally them? You tell him. You tell him, girl. Lady Mormont speaks harshly. <laughs> and truly. Yeah. I didn't commit my men to your cause, because I didn't want more Mandalays dying for nothing. But I was wrong. Yeah, you were. Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding. He is the White Wolf, the King in the North. 
Okay. He did, yes. But, and, and Sansa. But yes, him. Oh, this is not going how Baelish planned. I did not fight beside you, and I will regret that until okay. my dying day. There will be more fights to come. And I will stand behind Jon Snow. King the King in the North! Yeah, King in the North. And also, he could the be king the, the rightful king of the whole place. The King in the North! The King in the North! This is not going the way the Baelish planned, I don't think. Yeah! <laughs> No, no, no. I'm so glad he's alive again to do this. We started the season very differently for him. What does Sansa want in all of this even? Interesting. Yeah. Are they just making it back to see what happened? Oh, he's gonna find out about Tommen. That's sad. Cersei's response to this is interesting to me. It's almost like, did she expect it? I mean, she kind of did with like the whole witch's prediction and everything. Was she gonna have this funeral without him? I mean, I guess she didn't know when he would come back. Well, this isn't the funeral. Is she being crowned queen? Is that how this works? I guess who's there to stop her? Oh, whoa! I now proclaim Cersei of the House Lannister, first of her name, queen of the Andals and the First Men, protector of the Seven Kingdoms. Is that how it works? Or is she just making that how it works? Because there's no one else, like I said, there's no one else to... She killed everyone else. Whoa. This is, is this how he's finding out that Tommen is dead? That's a, that's a me. That's a harsh way. Wow. This episode just keeps going. Oof. So are they heading with Daenerys' people to Westeros? Cool ships. Are those the dragon ships? Yeah. Oh, Grey Worm gets to go with and everything? Nice. Well, I guess he is the leader of the Unsullied. She's doing it! And the dragons. Is she bringing all three dragons? They She let the other two out? They're teaching the Dothraki how to be on ships? And the wooden horses? Oh, they're bring, they are bringing the horses with, too. Oh, they all, all the dragons are coming, too. Wow! It's happening! How did Varys make it back so fast after he was talking to the people in Dorne. What did he talk to them about? Joining forces with Daenerys? Wow. It's a lot of ships. Whoa. Wow. So much happened in that episode. I like can't even remember everything that happened. Poor Marjorie. So what do we like in the end was it all just to get her brother out of out of it like harm's way? Because she went up to the High Sparrow in the end. And was like, you said that he would be able to leave. So it like makes me think that, yeah, she was doing that just to be able to get him out of there. And then so for that, her, the way that she ended it to be the way that she ended is so sad. And then Tom and jumping out the window. After that happens, right? My dog is, breathing, is snoring in his sleep. Like I said, I've seen that, uh, like the meme or like the image of someone just like jumping out a window like that. I didn't know it was from Game of Thrones. And now I know like the context behind it too. Oh, oh, poor Tommen. It was just all too much for him though. Yeah, I, I kind of, I get it. He had to watch everything and everything, everyone and his his wife and everything he knew go up in flames like that. Whoa. Cause I think I'd seen her uncle in there too. And like all the, and obviously they killed the Meister Pycelle. So like everyone who was like on the council and everything like that, besides Lady Olenna who was gone. So is that why Cersei was just able to crown herself the queen but oof, glad that the high sparrow and all his people went up in flames at least that is that is something i wanted to see and we got that out of this episode at least okay so that was wild and then aria and being the face changing and killing walter frey so happy about that love that she's getting back to her revenge list and using what she learned with those people so it wasn't a waste of time and using it for her revenge, love that for her. Love that he's dead and that she killed the other people who had killed her, you know, that killed her, her family along with it. And then he, then she fed it to him, them to him. Oh, but gross and yay. So happy about that. The Bran's vision back of Ned and his sister. So is that what they were implying that it was actually one of Robert's bastards or like Robert's sons. That's who Jon Snow actually is. So sh does he have a rightful claim to the throne? And then, but Ned just took him back and said that it was his. Is that gonna, so that, is that gonna come into play? Is he gonna, is he gonna challenge 
Daenerys for the throne, who Daenerys is now finally making her way to Westeros to be on the throne, where Cersei's on the throne now. It's all very, it's, that's very interesting. I really like him being king of the north. I'm good with that. Can he just be that? Also confirmation that everything that Baelish does is just in his mind to get himself on the Iron Throne, which we knew, but it's kind of nice to have confirmation that that's just always what he's doing. I don't like, though, that it's him and Sansa, with Sansa next to him. It's kind of smart, though, that she plays into that or, like, kind of strings him along a little bit and uses that to her advantage when she needs because clearly it works and helps like when she brought in all of his people for the battle and it was when they were losing last time so not mad about it but it is interesting how that might all play out but wow lots of lots of crazy things always happen in the finales so now it seems like so we have two seasons left i think i think there's eight seasons total and gearing up for more white walker action it sounded like with winter officially being here and I mean, I'm sure there'll still be battles amongst the different families and everything like that, but I'm guessing that some of the main battles that they're gonna, that's gonna be happening now are gonna be against the White Walkers and the winter is coming and all that jazz. So excited to see where that goes and who ends up on the Iron Throne in the end. I'm guessing that's how the series ends is like knowing who ends up on the Iron Throne in the end. I feel like it has to be Daenerys, right? But I don't know. Is it not actually her? We'll see. But I really liked this season. I really like that we got John back, even though it looked dicey at, at the beginning. We got him back and he, it's crazy to think that his arc for this season was starting off dead and ending with him with people chanting King of the North at him. That's a pretty cool arc. It's like, I was gonna give, I can't give my Emmy to him again because I gave it to him last time. I'm gonna give my Emmy to Arya this time because she went through a lot this season and came out at the end back at, like, with herself and doing her badass stuff. So I think I'm gonna give it to her. She was pretty badass this season and got stabbed and did all this stuff and still came out fighting and killing people. So I'm excited to see where her storyline goes now that she's kind of back in the fold of everything else that's happening. Also crazy that the Hound came back this season. I was not expecting that. Even though I did, I do remember kind of thinking and saying back when he, when they made it seem like he died, that he didn't seem dead because we didn't see it and they just kind of left him. But then I completely forgot about, I don't completely forgot him, but like didn't think of him as someone who they'd be bringing back at all. So that's crazy. I'm excited to see more of him maybe in future seasons. And like I said, Arya back in everything. She's great. Maisie Williams is great. I think that's her name, right? Maisie, Maisie Williams. That's, that feels right. Sansa was also great this season. She had to endure a lot. And then she was really the only reason that they won the battles. So yeah, my Emmy is a tie for the Stark sisters because they really, they were really the, the key people, the key play, oh, some of the key players this this season I feel like with everything that they were doing so yeah Sansa got herself out of there out of the the terrible Ramsey situation and saved the day with the battle last episode by bringing in the people of the Vale they would they were not winning that war otherwise and so she really was the one who won back the north which is cool so women being strong again in this series which I really enjoy so yeah there you go those are my Emmys strong Women, Sophie Turner. That's Sansa's actress. I couldn't think of her name for a second. But yeah, she's great too. Really like this season. Lots of fun action, lots of fun episodes. And I'm excited for the last two. Like I said, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to get a lot of good White Walker action and like continued battles for the throne, which I guess this that's the whole point of the series is that it's a game for the throne. Excited to see where we go next. And as always, thanks for watching with me. Bye.